Namaste everyone. We are sitting straight in any seated comfortable position. Eyes closed. Straight spine. Okay, we want to focus on relaxing the breath for a few seconds. So we make a deeper inhalation and a longer exhalation. As we deepen the breath, we want to focus on the chest, focus on expanding the ribs with inhale and contracting the ribs with the exhale. Okay, let's practice this few more seconds. This is also going to be a useful class for Anybody who is looking to have a healthy hair, glowing skin, because only if you can digest your food properly, you will be able to receive the benefits on your physical body, including a good skin and a good hair. So we have eyes open, we are stepping right foot forward, left knee is on the floor and shifting left elbow outside the right knee. Lean a little extra on the right foot, join palms on the chest. Keep looking at the floor so that you stay steady and then see how much you can turn chest upward. Only if you feel stable, you will look up. Otherwise, we are looking down on the floor. Relaxing the breath. And if this feels easy for you, you will straighten the back knee. Keep turning just upward. Hips will stay in the center. Make sure you are not pushing hip to the left side. Wait a little extra on the right foot. Once you adjust everything, we want to focus on relaxing the breath. So again, deeper inhalation, longer exhale. And every exhale, we try to twist the spine a little bit more. This is also going to be a very much core position as well as a detox position. We drop back knee on the floor, hands down, and we sit back, catching the breath. Take one deep inhale and one longer exhalation. We'll switch the side. This is our Paritta Pashukonasana. So check left knee ankle in one straight line. Let me face the other side so that you can see the posture properly. So right elbow outside left knee. I'm leaning a little extra on the left foot, joining palms together. Hips are fixed and keep turning just up to the ceiling. Keep looking down until you find the balance for you. Back knee is lifted if you feel steady and then maybe looking up to the ceiling if you feel comfortable. Relaxing the breath now. Back knee is tight if you have lifted the back knee. Keep turning, longer exhalation, turning chest upward, weight stays a little extra on the left foot. And try to feel how you feel on the spine, feel the pressure on the lower abdomen. This is also your hip opening position. Drop the back knee, hands down and let's sit back, take a little break. Eyes closed, deep inhale, longer exhalation. Okay, let's prepare for Dhanurasana. So we are coming on the chest. We bend the knees and we hold foot from outside. Tight grip, hands just below the toe. Take a deep inhalation here. Use exhale, lift chest, 
push toes away from the shoulder and maybe try raising the thighs off the floor so we are pulling the toes up to ceiling chin is lifted if you feel comfortable and then keep reaching lifting everything up to the ceiling longer exhalation always that will take you deeper into the posture take just one breath exhale and we release relaxing face to one side to see how this feels feel the spine feel your shoulder this is also a best position to massage your abdominal organ as well as it will flatten your tummy so holding feet use exhale and we reach up you can go wider with the feet if that helps you to lift up more just make sure you are breathing you are trying to relax the breath reaching up with the exhalation deep inhale longer exhalation okay we'll release and let's take a break face to one side legs can go wider always doing a little observation after releasing the pose checking how you are feeling checking the after effect of the posture okay let's prepare to come out we come on the knee push hips back and take a child's pose to straighten the spine child's pose is easiest pose to calm the mind and first step to soothe the digestive system is calm mind all right so we are looking up straight and we'll stand up for parivrita utkatasana this is going to be one more twisted position so we have feet together knees bent and moving left elbow outside the right knee hips are in the center and joining palms together on the chest so let me show you the posture from the side i have my hips in the center my thumb is just in between the chest if you can open up the arms try reaching up with the upper arm you can again look down or look up to the ceiling make sure your hips are not going to the left side now walk on relaxing the breath still posture relaxed breathing and going deeper into the twist exhale join palms together and we straighten the knee take one full exhalation we'll switch the side so feet together knees bent right elbow outside left knee palms together almost on the middle of the chest hips in the center so check you are not moving to one side and turn only chest to the ceiling maybe separating the arms and now check the breathing deeper inhale and as we make longer exhale we are reaching upward with the upper arm upper chest almost facing the ceiling joining palm and we come back center take one deep inhale longer exhalation okay we'll take a child's pose just take a little break here knees can go wider arms can stay next to the body that will help you to relax the shoulder take one full exhale and we sit up straight preparing for paschimottanasana so have your knees bent feet knees together 
holding foot from outside and create a backward bend here so keep the arch you can stay there or just try pushing the heel forward continue arching continue pushing the heel forward and you will stay here make sure your spine is straight if you can go forward you will bend elbows down and keep following the chin so chin is reaching forward I'm going forward towards my toes if you can drop chin on the shin drop it down but make sure you are not rounding the back continue arching the back as we go forward okay when I say straight spine we are not aiming to have straight like a scale there will be a little bit of rounding but we want to make sure we are working on lengthening the spine work on tightening the kneecaps if your knees are straight and try looking in between your eyebrow center so we are fixing the gaze fixing gaze is the best way to still the mind especially if you have too many thoughts going on at the moment just try fixing your eyes in between the eyebrow or you can also look at the big toe take one full exhale here look forward and let's sit back take a few longer exhale here just see how this feels We bend the knee, bring left knee on the floor and shift right foot outside the left knee. If your foot doesn't reach the floor, you can keep it inside the knee. Okay. Otherwise, we want to keep it outside. Push knee close to chest, left elbow around knee, right hand goes back lean forward instead of leaning back and let's keep turning chest to the back wall chin over back shoulder okay remember not to lean on your back hand keep weight on the front foot eyes can stay closed and let's focus on the breathing longer exhalation deep inhale expanding the chest try feeling the right hip here feeling the upper spine middle spine take one deep inhale here exhale and we come back center with the closed eyes just take a little pause here feeling the spine again very nice okay we'll switch the side this is our Ardha Matsendrasana so keep left knee on the floor right foot outside you can keep it inside if your foot is not reaching right elbow around the upper knee moving left hand back and let's look back looking back so that we walk on the neck also along with our entire spine try closing eyes and just try feeling feeling the posture so feel your left hip feeling the twist on the spine creating a length on the spine with every inhalation remember not to lean back we are rather leaning forward okay and now focus on the breathing relaxed breathing with a longer exhalation we'll take few more breaths here staying present full exhale and we come back center Take a pause here. 
Venice will prepare for Parivrita Janu Shishasana. So bend your right knee. Open up the left foot. If you can bring it heel, hip in one line. You can have left knee bend. Left hand on the floor. And bring right arm over your head. Okay, we want to also open up the chest. So chest is turning up to the ceiling. Keep reaching close to the left foot. If your posture doesn't look like what you are seeing on the screen, it's absolutely all right. As far as you are feeling the side stretch, your chest is open enough. That's all we want at the moment. Okay, try closing the eyes and walk on relaxing the breath. Take one full inhalation. Exhale and we come back center. Okay, take a little pause here to feel the right side of your body. Let's try on the left side. Parivrita Janushesha. Left knee spin, right heel, hip almost in line. If it's not in line, it does not matter. Just see how much you can open up. Left arm up and over, creating a nice side stretch. And then see how much you can open up the chest. Make sure you are not sinking the chest down. Okay, your right knee can stay bent also. Breathing relaxed, still posture. Okay, become one with everything you are doing right now. So focus on opening the chest, focus on leaning a little more towards your right foot, relaxing the breath here. Okay, giving your full attention to everything you are doing right now. We'll take one deep inhalation here. Okay, take a full exhalation and we come back center. Take a little pause here again, feeling left side of your body. Okay, we'll take our Sukhasana or any seated position. Hands on the lap or on the knee eyes closed. Okay, finding the stillness here and checking the after effect of this practice. See how you're feeling. You've done a lot of twisting, backward bend, forward bend. Checking the after effect. Apart from moving the body, healthy digestive system has to do a lot with what you are eating, when you are eating and how you are eating. Very simple diet rule that everybody can follow is eat when you are hungry, eat according to the season as in the seasonal fruits and vegetables. And eat with a meditative mind. So when you are eating, try not to watch the social media or television movies. Try, try not to talk when you are eating. Try to become one with the food. Give your full concentration with all the senses so that your body knows how to adapt whatever is coming inside the body. Okay, it doesn't have to be a crazy, crazy diet rule. Always practice something that you can follow for a longer time. And also something which keeps your heart happy. If you feel too restricted with your diet, that is also going to affect your emotional body. Okay, so along with the poses we have practiced, I hope you take care of the simple diet rules also you can sit here for some more time or you can take shavasana i'll see you in the next one